as a person who lives inside of this fleshly body that we live in, we have the opportunity every day to make a choice whether we're going to react to the things around us or whether we're going to act upon the information that we're given, evaluate it, look at it, examine it, pray, take it to God, ask Him to direct, and then go the way with which He chooses, knowing that He has already planned out our day and has in mind for us a simple and certain future that we know we can trust Him with, or are we so confident in our own ability to make choices that we neglect the wisdom that God has given us each and every day, just simply waiting for us to ask Him so that we could receive, to seek Him so that we could find and to knock literally or to pursue physically those things that God would have us to do so that we would know what His will is. Because you see, you can do it your own way. You can do it my way, as Frank Sinatra said, or you can do it His way, as Jesus said. Because Jesus said He didn't come to do His will, but He came to do the will of the Father. Today it's your choice for you to make. Are you going to do His will, or are you going to do your will? We always say, Thy will be done, but do we mean it and do we ask God to show us today what His will is? In streams in the desert, hast thou seen the treasures of the hail, which I have reserved against the day of trouble? Job 38, 22, and 23. Our trials are great opportunities. Too often we look on them as great obstacles. It would be a haven of rest and an inspiration of unspeakable power if each of us would henceforth recognize every difficult situation as one of God's chosen ways of proving to us His love and look around for the signals of his glorious manifestations. Then, indeed, would every cloud become a rainbow and every mountain a path of ascension and a scene of transfiguration. In other words, our circumstances, when they are adverse, show us, conversely, that God is trying to reveal himself to us by providing for us and taking care of that which we think is overcoming us. If we will look back upon the past, many of us will find that the very time our Heavenly Father has chosen to do the kindest things for us and given us the richest blessing has been the time we were strained and shut in on every side. God's jewels are often sent to us in rough packages and by dark, strange servants. But within we find the very treasures of the King's palace and the bridegroom's love. Trust Him in the dark honor him with unwavering confidence even in the midst of mysterious dispensations and the recompense or the reward of such faith will be like the moltings of an eagle's plumes which was said to give them a new lease of youth and strength in other words with what you're going through it will cause you to come to a place of knowing he'll bring you through and bless you because you've gone through it with him when you go through a trial or a tribulation without him then you're just simply subject to the storm. You're beaten and battered and bounced and trounced and up, tossed up and tossed down and you don't know which way to go around. But when you seek God and you ask Him to take you through it, He walks with you and He abides in you to show you who He is in the midst of a storm. He's the one who can say to you while you are in the middle of a trial, come and from walking on water you see him out there in the midst of the storm but he's walking on the water he's walking on the storm and you can be bidden to come to him and find that he will give you the ability to walk through the storm without perishing from it at all or even noticing that it's there if you focus the attention and all your cares on him he is the one who can cause the storm to cease and to stop the blow, or he can walk on the water above it all. The reality is, do you find yourself underwater, in the water, over the water, or walking with Jesus? I prefer to look to him and have him call me and tell me what to do today. Your choice is yours to make. Will it be 
His will be done, or yours.